Hi YouTube, how you guys doing? Back at it again with the white vans. <laughs> um, yeah, it's really important now. So today we have another haul coming. Yay! Today's video is actually a makeup haul. I have quite a few um makeup hauls that I will be doing in the next few weeks. I've been shopping like crazy over the summer. And I'm finally making time in my schedule to sit down and record videos for you guys. So today's haul is going to be triple O G double O double O triple O triple O double O quickle O quickle O I O G Mac haul. <laughs> Yay! Um, Mac Cosmetics has always held a dear, dear, dear place in my heart. It was one of the first uh, high-end makeup brands that I started using when I um became I'm sorry not when I became when I fell in love with makeup um, I've been using Mac for years and they never really seem to fail me it's kind of one of those trusted brands where if you want something you know done right and you know that it's gonna work well at least for me I can't speak for everybody you know that's where I go to I go to Mac so I have quite a few products today, so without further ado, let's get it started. All right, so the first thing that I have from MAC is their lip gloss, lip gloss. And this is just a very basic, clear lip gloss. Um, you know, I like the lip glosses that tend to be on the stickier side. In my personal opinion, they last longer. Um, when you're a makeup porter like myself, you tend to forget about the more simpler things when it comes to makeup, you know, such as chapstick, uh, lip gloss, clear lip gloss, not anything that has a little bit of shimmer or color or anything, just a very basic clear lip gloss, um, you know, simple things like that. And I was recently in a Mac store the other day, just browsing. I wanted to go and look at the uh, Ariana Grande, her new lipstick and lip gloss. And I wind up uh, picking up the clear lip gloss. Um, it crossed my mind, I remember it. I was like, you know what, let's go ahead and buy it. So that's the first thing I got. The next thing that I have is a lip liner. And this is in the shade Hover. Hoover, Hoover, Hover? I say Hover, it might be Hoover, but you know. Ketchup, ketchup, tomato, tomato, who gives a damn, pecan, pecan, whatever. It all means the same thing. So this is a pretty brownish shade. Oh no, I'm tired of this happening. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but like the freaking tip on this joint is like much thin. I don't know. But anywho, let me do a quick swatch on it. It's like a reddish brown lip liner. Um, I thought it'd be really, really pretty. You know, I didn't really have any looks in mind when I brought it. I just thought it'd be something really pretty and natural that I could add into my kit and also be for personal use. Let's keep it going. So the next one that I brought is another lip liner and this shade is called Embrace Me. I know this is one that I ordered offline. Oh, I remember I bought this. And this is a beautiful, my camera's not even doing it any justice. This is a beautiful hot pink lip liner. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty, gag. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm just gonna pick up on it for you. There we go. This is absolutely gorgeous, guys. I know we're approaching fall, so I might have to do me a one last goodbye summertime makeup look so I could use this bad boy because that is so pretty. Um, I don't know if I said it or not, but I've been holding on to these products for maybe close to three months. I've been buying things here and there, adding to the collection. So that was something that I forgot I even had. So if my reaction is, is a little more surprised that's why so keeping it going the next thing that i have is their prep and prime highlighter pen in light boost 
and this is another i won't really say an oldie but goodie because these are kind of new but they have kind of not new um these guys i use mines for highlighting when i don't want a very uh what's the word i don't want my highlight to be super duper bright or super light i want it to be more on the natural sheer side this is what i use this thing is so pretty so i'm not gonna i'm not going to twist it but i'll show you what it looks like it has a brush tip and it's like one of those similar to like the teeth whitening pens i don't know if you've ever used them or not you give it a few clicks the product comes out and you just paint it on your face i will definitely be using this in my next tutorial so that you guys can see what i mean by the finish this is very 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 natural looking absolutely beautiful so that was that the next thing that i have is the mac pro longwear foundation in shade nc45 um I've brought this foundation at least two times and I've taken it back both times. Um, for some reason, I just wasn't a big fan of the Pro Longwear. It was very, very drying on my skin, which isn't a bad thing for me because I have oily skin. But I don't really like that heavy, cakey, full coverage, heavy duty, can't get nothing through it, stuck to your face, bugs sticking to it beat that's you know <laughs> that's not really my style um i know you guys are probably looking like yeah whatever look at your face now but this is only because i'm on camera but i tend to go for a very more skin like natural finish when it comes to my foundation i mean just because you're wearing makeup in my opinion doesn't mean it has to look like makeup and for a while this foundation just was not doing it for me um, but I recently repurchased it because I wanted to give it another chance, especially in the summer times here where I live at. I live in the desert and my lightweight, natural looking foundation tends to melt off as soon as I step outside in the sun. So I figured I'd give, you know, the Pro Langwear another chance, see how it holds up in this super duper duper hot climate. So next we have a skin finish. A natural skin, oh, natural skin finish, and this was in the shade Sunny Side. I'm gonna open this for you guys. Okay, and this is what it looks like. I want to say these things are they're supposed to be uh, like color correcting powders, if I'm not mistaken. I saw it online. I didn't buy it in store. And I was pretty intrigued by it. Um, excuse me. I've never known Mac to release anything like this when it comes to their skin finishes. So I was like, you know, I'd give it a try. Um, let's go ahead and do a swatch on it to see. Oh yeah, they're matte. So I don't know if the camera's gonna pick up on that. But that little bit of ash, yellow ash, that's me swirling what happened when I swirled it all together. So I want to say this is like a, they're like color correcting powders. Um, the yellow, I definitely, the yellow and the cream, I would definitely use as setting for the under eye. The red, or the more um, warm shade. Um, maybe, I don't know, this might be reaching. Maybe I could try to do a color correcting powder instead of using the color correcting liquid maybe try it with the powder and set it with a powder foundation to see how that would go and of course the brown could be just a red oil contour shade so that's that next i have a pro longwear pressed powder in dark and this was also a recent purchase this guy now i, I used to use the mac uh blot powder in dark but I've noticed that when I would uh, go in and touch up my makeup, it would make it look super smooth for one, but also would make it look way darker than what the initial color was. And, you know, I, I tried, I tried to like it. I tried to deal with it, but after a while, I just was like, you know what, no. Um, and like I said, I was in this store the other day just browsing and I asked one of the ladies, did she recommend anything? And she uh, asked me, had I tried the Pro Longwear powder? She said it has a little bit of uh, coverage to it, but it's not like a uh, foundation powder. So 
so it's like you know I swatched it on my hand and I liked how it looked way more than a black powder so I said I'd give it a try so that was that so the next thing that I have is a blush it's also by MAC and it's in the shade Melba this is one of those impulse buys again I ordered this offline um, I pretty much have <laughs> all the blushes known to MAC and I don't know I was in the market of wanting to try a new color so I saw Melba and I was like why not let's give it a go I'll swatch it for you uh, you probably really can't see that swatch it's coming up really 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 maybe I'll pull back it's coming up really 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 light I don't know I'll have to try it on my cheeks to see how it looks um some products they don't really swatch that great on my skin but when I try it on with a full face of makeup I wind up liking it so hopefully for Melba that'll be one of those shades so next I have a matte lipstick and this is in the shade naturally transformed don't remember buying this so let's see what it looks like oh this is pretty this is what it looks like a very nice light I would say light brown but it's probably more of a caramel color I don't know if you can see that my swatches are like the world's worst swatches known to man there we go that's a swatch of it it's not that good but it's very 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 pretty I think I was probably in the market looking for a new shade a new nude color for my lips that's probably why I brought this and if not it can also be something that goes in my kit because I do freelance or I um, do do makeup on the side so next is another lipstick oh this is a new buy this is from the MAC Star Trek collection and I wind up picking up the shade the enemy with thin I did try this on in the store and it's very 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 sheer you have to layer it a few times cut yeah even the mac rihanna color what i'm wearing now has more coverage to it or my color than this but this was such a pretty shade that i just couldn't leave it especially it being a limited edition this is what it looks like this is more gold and i wanted to try it on top of call me weird like a dark forest green lip liner and then put this guy on top to kind of see what it would look like this would be more of a topper than anything um you could wear it alone but it won't really have as much color payoff so that was that so the next thing that i have oh yes is one of the vamplified lip glosses and i wound up buying two of these guys because <laughs> the hype behind it was so real and when i went in the store and tried it on i was just in love so this is what it looks like I wind up getting the color Absolute Score. And if you are a makeup junkie, you I'm sure you already knew that was what was going to come out of my mouth. So this is what it looks like. It's like a very, very pretty brownish, grayish color. It's kind of hard to describe it, but that's what it looks like. So pretty. This you could definitely wear alone. You don't even need to put a lipstick underneath because they are so pigmented um i have been dying 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 to use this but i wanted to wait until i did my haul before i broke it in so now that the haul is done you guys will definitely be seeing me wearing this if you follow any of my social media you will definitely be seeing me wearing this in the near future right so up next i have a mix mess mascara <laughs> and in the shade of no i'm sorry this is the extended play giga black lash and this is just in the darkest shade it doesn't really have a name for it and i have been hearing good things about this guy for quite a few years to be honest and this is what it looks like it has a very 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 thin applicator um this guy is really really good for coating your bottom lashes if you have pretty thin um or pretty short bottom lashes and you aren't able to really get them with the regular 
mascara wands or mascara applicators please go in and try this guy out i want to say it was 14 dollars. it was pretty it was cheaper than the regular mascara but i tried it and it works it lives up to the hype it's pretty 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 good so if you look if you've been looking for a mascara to use in your bottom lashes i would definitely recommend the mac extended play giga black lash so next i have a plush glass and this is in the shade wet wild wonderful Ooh, fancy <laughs> let's see oh I guess I must have been feeling the brownish grayish colors for some reason but this is what it looks like and I think I brought this guy to go on top of the uh, caramel lipstick kind of try to swatch it on my and this is how it swatches it's pretty pretty it's like a pretty brown shimmer color the plush glass just smells so good it smells like vanilla cupcakes so yeah this is another one that is very 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 sticky pretty much all the mac lip glosses are sticky some are just more stickier than other this guy your lips will be sticking together but i promise you the shine is beautiful and as far as the longevity it will last you quite a few hours so next i have a luster lipstick and this is in the shade Viva Glam 5. Not really good at re reading Roman numerals. I don't even remember buying the shade to be honest. So let's see what it looks like. Oh, this is pretty. This is like a mauve color, but I would say more. Uh, yeah, we won't say that, but. It's more like a mauve color. Oh, it's very, very, very sheer. Super duper pretty. Um, I don't think this was part of anybody's collection. A little bit of background on the Viva Glam lipsticks. When you purchase those, Max donates a portion of the money to the AIDS fund. So I always feel really, really, really good when I buy the, the Glam products. Even though I really tend to only buy the collections, um, being as I do like that one, I have now found a regular purchase. So the next thing, I think I'm going to save this one for last. I'll save that for last. So next I have a foiled eyeshadow, and this is in the shade Enchanted Forest. Super duper bright. And this came with the collection, but to be honest, I've had it for so long that I don't remember the name of the collection. But Enchanted Forest is a very pretty brown foiled eyeshadow. It kind of reminds me of the pressed pigments, but finer. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, you know, let's put it right here next to the pink lipstick. That's how it swatches. It's very, very, very sheer. Sheer bronze color. Um, also another impulse buy there is a makeup artist on Instagram called kill pretty that I follow and I saw that he purchased that car and I was like hmm kill pretty has it Carrie Vaughn used to have it so of course you know I went online and started clicking and buying and swipe swipe crazy so next oh this is just a repurchase of an oldie but goodie this is my go-to lipstick when I want just the best nude lips around it is a cream sheen lipstick and the shade is cream cream the nude and boy oh boy when i tell you this thing is so pretty i'll wear a cream de nude with cork lip liner and i'll put a boy bait cream cream was a cream sheen lip gloss on top honey it is so pretty it's such the prettiest 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 combination when it comes to nude and this is what it looks like and it's very, very, very sheer. Like you can kind of see it on my arm. But when I say this is so pretty, if you are looking for a, a very pretty baby girl, baby doll pink, I would recommend trying Cream the Nude. You will definitely love it. All right, so it's another absolute score. I told you guys I brought two. 
and the last thing that I have is another ampli am it's a amplified cream lipstick and it's in the shade snow orchid I've been wanting to buy snow orchid for like a year or two but I've never had the courage to buy it and one day I went in Mac with my friend we were just browsing and I wanted to buy a whole bunch of lipsticks and I saw snow over snow orchid and I was like you know what what the hey Carrie you didn't come in here with the real purpose go for it so this is snow orchid it's a very pretty magenta color that's it right there it's very pretty magenta oldie but goodie oldie but goodie so last thing that I got from Mac is Da, 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 da. Let's get up in there. Let's get up in there. Yes. You see that? Aria, Ariana Grande's lip glass. Viva Glam Ariana Grande. Duh. Now, I did look at her lipstick, and to be quite honest with you guys, I really wasn't impressed with the shade. I have just about every lipstick known to mac i have and you know enough that probably do a video to show you guys but anywho i have just about every lipstick known to mac and when i saw the shade in person i wasn't moved to buy it and i'm a sucker for limited edition items when it comes to mac because i always feel like well if i don't buy it now you know maybe next week i'll start thinking about it and then it'll be sold out but <laughs> looking at the lipstick in person i was like so cool with just walking away from it but honey when I tell you her lip gloss was popping and I'm tempted to go buy another because it's that pretty let me show you let me show you so this right here is the lip gloss or lip glass let me correct myself which it was a little weird to me because most of the time when they do the viva glam collections they like to match the lipsticks and the lip glosses or it's it's the color doesn't match but it kind of falls in the same family but if you saw the viva glam ariana grande 2 lipstick and you see the lip gloss you would just be like what the heck were they thinking the lipstick is very 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 it's a very bright purple it kind of reminds me of oh my gosh what is that i knew i was gonna have a brain fart when i thought thought of the name of it it reminds me of another shade that they already have part of their permanent collection and the lip gloss is more of a nude purple color and the lady or the, the young lady in the store she swapped when she swatched it for me to show me what they look like together I was just like that lip gloss is bomb.com I will definitely be using it in my upcoming review um so yeah that is all of the items that I purchased from Mac guys yay so in the next week or two I will definitely try to get up my Sephora and my Ulta haul which will probably be 10 times as long as this one because I have really been going crazy in there but um yeah I hope you guys enjoyed it um I look forward to chit chatting with you in the near future and everyone be safe be blessed and thank you smooches Mwah.